In this video, we will demonstrate how companies like yours can connect to and secure their traffic to and from cloud data centers. We start by first logging into the Cato Management application. From here, you can view the overall network activity, configure policies, and manage the entire network. Our demo environment is a part of a larger enterprise network with 28 remote offices and physical and cloud data centers. As you can see on the Cato management screen, all sites and data centers are connected to Cato's cloud-based network. We are using Amazon AWS VPC, physically located in London, and we will demonstrate the steps you would go through when connecting to the Cato network using IPsec tunnel. The same concept applies to all cloud-based infrastructure, such as Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. To initiate a VPN tunnel from the Cato Cloud to AWS, we first need to reserve and assign a dedicated IP address that will be used for this tunnel. You will also choose the Cato POP physically closest to the AWS data center. Here, we choose our POP in London that is co-located in the same data center. Next, you will define a new site in the Cato Management application. Note that we define it as Cato Initiated IPsec, so the Cato POP will connect to AWS. And the IP address selected for the tunnel is our encryption domain. Let's move to the AWS configuration starting at our London VPC dashboard. Connecting a VPN tunnel to AWS includes three steps. Step 1. Creating a third-party gateway, in this case to the Cato POP, using the IP address we reserved earlier. Step 2. Creating a virtual AWS gateway and attaching it to the VPC. Step 3. Creating a VPN connection by binding the two entities. The routing added here is for the IP address which sites and mobile users will use when connecting to AWS. Finish by propagating the routes to the virtual gateway. By the end of this process, Amazon creates a configuration file with all of the data required on the initiator's side. Let's download that configuration file and move back to the Cato Management application to finish the process. Finally, you'll need to create the IPsec tunnel using the POP's unique IP address. For the pre-shared key, we are using the one provided by Amazon. The destination IP was also provided in the Amazon configuration file. Now let's hit the Save button and test connectivity. We can see that a tunnel was created and the connection succeeded. The new data center is now part of the Cato network and is accessible from all sites, data centers, and mobile devices. Last, we can verify the VPN connectivity on the AWS side to ensure the tunnel status. As seen, the tunnel is indeed up and running. 
this was a short demo of how to connect cloud data centers to the Cato network. Contact us through our website to try Cato in your business. Thank you. Cato Networks. Network and security is simple again.